Hi, welcome to the show. 297. Hey. It's not summer, but we're in a summery mood. So we are. And we're starting with Super Track, and this is called Disco Confusion. Yeah. We were confused, then. It's cool. It's an odd one. I can't really find anything out about it, but it's sort of like a hybrid of reggae. So <coughs> The other side is actually a version of Satin Soul by um, Barry White. But this is nice. And it goes into a nice little breakdown, so there you go. Yeah. <clears throat> so Brad's uh, back from his uh, travels around Prague. Yes, I didn't get any records. I didn't... Oops. Oops. I didn't get any records because I didn't actually make, except for a single record shop. Um, I was busy. Of course. Uh, it was a stag do. So, uh, yeah, I didn't, ex- I didn't expect you to go to any record shops. Well, I wanted to, but... Yeah, I know, but I, I didn't, didn't expect you to go to any record shops. Uh, I've had a good time, I'm on the men's, and I've been DJing last week with uh, Pete, who's um, MCM's cousin, and, yeah. um, um, and his man Ed, nice fellas, so I'm going to play again with him guys in the next few weeks, so I'll let you know. Thank you. Cool. We've got a gig with uh, Mr. Higgs and Mr. Parker, a replacement gig, March the 31st. That's right. That's right. But before that, Chris, I'm, I'm actually at a 40th birthday party thing. Chris is in Bristol. That's right. That's the third of March, I believe. Third of March, third yeah. Of March, yeah. Third of March at the uh, Rope of Dope 3 in Bristol. Now there's Chroman Hill Inspired, MCM. there's Dookie Squad, MCM Format, there's yeah. loads of people. Yeah. Cymatic, there's a lot of yeah. lot, a lot of guys playing, so it's going to be really, really good. Even I'll be playing spinning a few tunes. Wow. And selling a few as well, hopefully. Wow. <clears throat> so yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's one to look forward to. So if you're in the Bristol area, I think even Trevor's coming. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I like to see Trevor. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah, it's quite nice. Lovely. Uh, next up. <coughs> it's a great album, this actually, by Leon Haywood. It's from 1983 on Casablanca. Not Leon Haywood from Nickenham. No. <laughs> well, I saw in uh, Lidl yesterday, yeah. There you go. <laughs> there you go. But, um,. Anyway, yeah, this is good. There's a really cool track on it called Keep It In The Family, but the rest of the album's really, really good. So here we go. Mm. Yeah, Leon Haywood, Keep It In The Family, one of the only songs ever written about marrying your cousin. <laughs> See? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice, this, I have to say. But yeah, it's good. It's really good, in fact. It is good. It's actually a cool album. Mm. I recognise the tune. I want to do something freaky to you. Which is a, a really good version, right? It's yeah. a good version. There's Leon yeah. on the back. That's right. <coughs> yeah, so I've, uh, over the last couple of weeks, I've, been, I've had the pleasure of uh, going around to Mr. Joey J's house and uh, going through the remnants of uh, what record collection he's got and uh, been picking up some nice bits. So there you go. Yeah, some very nice bits. The shop is still open. I mean, it is genuinely closing. This isn't like, I mean, Chris isn't like the equivalent of Sports Direct. <laughs> no, I do feel like shops. that. You know what, if, if there's any way I can keep it open, then I will. Hence why I've been trying to sort of drag it out. But You know what keeps it open? Customers. Exactly, it really is. Come on um, down why it's still there. And, and, and whilst there has been, you know what I mean, but every time I have a blip, then obviously I don't have any money. And so... The, the only thing I can do. Then he has to sell himself. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That's why he was tired. Uh, it's true, it's true. Because no one wants to touch me, it's all I can. Anyway, but um but yeah, it's uh, but as it stands it's still there. If there's any way that I can uh, keep it open and it will be because it's gonna take a little while for it to actually close down. But you know, I'm getting rid of stock and people are interested in stuff, so there you go. So pop down, please. Yeah. It's just opposite South Africa Line Station on yeah. the line in London. That's right. But hopefully, I can keep it open. Even if it is only for two days a week. That'd be nice. Like that. yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, it's just wicked. Next up, I've had this, I think I found a soup funky sisters sort of a CD in a charity shop and there was a really cool track on it called Dance, ba- Dance Man uh, I think it's by Keisha Brown and um, anyway it's just it's, a, it's on the Mighty Jazz Man label so I picked up a cheap copy and it's wicked it's kind of like ghetto funk but I kind of like it so here we go yeah I like to think that she's uh, singing about either me, me or Brad. She probably was. Because it's called Dance Man. That's us. And she does say, bell-bottom pants, uh, a seafood shirt, shirt, 
That is our tyrant. <laughs> it pretty much is. Yeah. That's what I'm wearing the rope for though. That's it, you can't have reason to go. Totally. Bristol. I'm gutted it's when literally it's like every time both of those on, I'm somewhere else. I know. People are gonna think we don't talk. I know. You know, we're gonna be like Sam and Dave. They <laughs> did a show, or, or to bring it right up to date, like um, two women out of Sex and the City, that's what we're like. Oh, that's right, yeah. <laughs> I'm the filthy hoe bag from Mannequin, <laughs> and you're the bird with the curly hair. That's right. Whose name I don't know. Uh, after we finish filming this, I'm so like, just get, get, I'm just get out of the fuck of my house. Get out of my house. Yeah. 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 With an afro comb in his back pocket. Wicked. Yep. Yeah. yeah, very nice indeed. Very good. Alright, <laughs> uh, next up. I love the burger. Yeah. This is a great tune. Yes, it is. And it's level 42. But Star it's Child is it's wicked, I reckon. And it's, it sounds very much like a track that we played. I can't even remember her name, but I've got it over there. It's like a jazz dance sort of album from 1975. It's a very similar intro, anyway. But here we go for a bit of level 42. Yeah. Yep, this is level 42. Star Child. Yeah. It's a great little jazz dance, I reckon. Very nice indeed. Yeah. I agree. It's yeah. Good yeah, I like it. Boy, too. So, um, Brad has seen the hand solo trailer. Yes, I have. About 35,000 times. I like it. I actually even tweeted about it on our Hot Buzz Soul Square account. Yeah. And said, you know, people relax, you know. Uh, people are looking for him to do an impression of Harrison Ford. So, I could do the impression of Harrison Ford. Well, enjoy it. it. Looks good. I like it. it looks like Star Wars. Cool. Be interested in your thoughts, people. When's it coming out? May the 25th. Okay. Not too far then. Not too long. I have to stop watching the trailer for eight times a day. And then... Yeah. yeah, this does sound like a tune that we've played before. Yeah, it's brilliant. I'm going to ponder that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, no, very nice indeed. And there's a bucket that's breaking in the middle of it as well. Chris was nice enough to uh, <laughs> do an autograph for me on a Love Station press release card. Because uh, for those of you that watch regularly will know this, but for those of you that maybe are just tuning in randomly or for our new viewers, Chris was a big hit in the 90s. <laughs> Chris was on Top of the Pops, he was on some sad CD UK. Right. Yeah, and the version of Teardrops, the Womack and Womack classic. But I had to go to a wedding at Christmas. And if the people at the wedding are all about mid thirties, Chris's uh, demographic, um, and it came on, the DJ played it, and the whole everyone left what they were doing and come on the dance floor, yeah. and I was like, "This is Chris," and everyone's there. Yeah, it was massive. Obviously, I didn't get. I mean, I got money for being in the group and doing photo shoots and videos and stuff As you can like see, that. He was a model. But Bobby Wormack wrote like it, so we didn't get any money from that. <laughs> no, yeah. He's written on this. I mean, bearing in mind we've been friends since we were children. Brad, you bring teardrops of sensuality. Word, Messiah. That's Chris Yeah. yeah. And uh, do you, did you know any of the... Uh, did you bring any teardrops of sensuality to anyone else in the picture, Chris? Was there a bit of scandal? Maybe that's when the band broke up. No, no, no. Well, one of the guys was in M People. Um, she was a model and the singer... Yeah. I don't, you know what, man? It was, um, it was a great time, but I do remember it being a bit naughty at the uh, Fresh Records Christmas party. <laughs> <coughs> your, your trousers are very baggy. Well, you know, it was the nineties. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So sorry. next up, we've got a nice new. Maybe slab. you can win one. <laughs> yeah, I've got a load of them. <laughs> <laughs> Sign it, a ring, um, right in. That's right. Yeah. This is it, lovely. This is brilliant, yeah. The new one on uh, World Expo. Uh, Fresh Daily, Jack Jones and DJ Ollie Tiba. Shed friend. Shed friend. Uh, yeah, so there we go. Fresh Daily. And a nice little uh, cheers, Chris. Enjoy. The pro on the front there. That's nice. So, yeah, this is a great little uh, seven. So, here we go. Unmistakable tones of Jack Jones. It's, uh, I bet he's just got one of the best voices out of it. 
Except for him and Oxton has got courts as well. Yeah, this is good. I want to get one of these. That's great. I didn't know it existed. I haven't been uh, about of late. Chris Bates in there for what can happen, guys. What the flip? What the flip? We've mm-hmm. got a cut of this today as well. This is it's good. Yeah, alright. Brad's, Brad's bought a second copy of something he already had. I've done that as well, yeah. I did buy two copies of the Bocca though and gave you one for Chris's birthday next week. It is, it is. And, uh, yeah. yeah. And my wife's as well, my wife's is a day after. Oh yeah, that's right, isn't it? Yeah. That's right. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, we should have played loads of love songs, because it's Valentine's, isn't it? That's why. We're not wearing that yet. No, I mean, we always play a, a few smooches, don't we? You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. yeah. Just okay. not with the cameras. <laughs> Yeah, this is cracking anyway. Me and Brad look at each other, yeah. uh, listening to uh, Art of Noise, Moments in Love. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is Wicked. And uh, next up we've got another new Wicked one, and that is the Back, Back Boys by Fokker 45. Shepherd. Very nice indeed. That's right, and uh, Brad was nice enough to give me a copy. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Head copy 56. That's right, yeah. About 300. So, let's have a listen to this. Yep. Party Rocker Body Fuck with that. Fucker 45. I think he's from Bristol. Nice guy. I try and pick up most of his stuff because he's always excellent. You do well to have this in your bag when you're out yeah, and about old, on the five or seven this. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Bocker's Club Donut. Limited edition. I've got 55 and this is 56. Oh, 300. So, I don't know if there's any left. Doubt it. I picked this up a couple of weeks ago at That's least. Right. At least a couple of weeks ago. Um, so, yeah, good luck. But uh, if you can get it, get it. So it's crack on. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Mr. Tony Justice, uh, yes, best, best in, bestest cool food in the whole world. Yes, he is. Now, myself and Brad have got one of these, and Brad then goes yeah, he and definitely himself gave another one. But I just saw that I'm a supporter, and, and I are, just Brad. saw and I thought, I know that, and I played it, and I thought, yeah, I'll buy that, because uh, he was like, only six left. So I thought, well, I'll pick it up. But I've got it already. Yeah. But, and we have played it before. We played but it doesn't the, matter. Cause I'm we, we, we played the original uh, yes. "Save My Soul" by um, Justice That's and Mercy, classic. which is a classic, like, you know, hardcore early yeah. drum and bass sort of tune. But there was a wicked blame, uh, I know, uh, experience remix on the. Um, yeah. yeah, on the other side. Yes, what yes, that's right. Exactly, on the A side. Yeah. So we're going to play that. So it's a killer tune. It's kind of more in a breakbeat sort of style than drum and bass, but it's very nice indeed. So, here we go. Yeah. yeah sh- good shed friends, one of probably one of the best shed friends. Yeah. yeah. yeah we cuddle every time we see each other. I have to say, actually, uh, that Napa came in the shop last week. Did he really? He did, yeah, Napa. He's and, a um, nice guy, isn't he? Yeah, that's right, Napa came in and a few others have been in. Yeah, Mr. Higgs, Mr. Parker have been in, Ollie was there as well. Yeah, Tough Cut was there. Wow. Was, like, watching two super duper producers meeting for the first time. It was kind of like the film Pete. Who, who met? Tough Cut and Napa. They never met? Don't think so. Yeah. Oh wow, I'm surprised at that. Because yeah. Tough Cut knows it, everyone. It was like watching De Niro and Al Pacino meeting in heat. Was it? Yeah. Because <laughs> literally Tough Cut knows everybody. Yeah, I know, but you know, of course, you know, Napa's from up there and Tough Cut's from over there. And... I know that, but it's strange because I reckon like Tough Cut knows royalty. I'm pretty sure he does. I reckon he knew Jimmy Sapper. Well, maybe. <laughs> I mean, he knew everybody, Tough Cut. I'm surprised at that. Did you uh, sign him a, uh, a love station photo? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. I bet Tough Cut's already got one. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, it's yeah. wicked, man. Yeah, it's really good. Modern, modern and jazz. Um, yeah, so check out the Mudge and the Modern Urban Jazz Jazz Bag Camps and uh, see what Mr. Justice and his often partner in crime are trying to up to. Uh, or, sorry, uh, and also don't forget our man, um, Scott London. That's right. Yeah. 
and uh, give Tony a hug if you see him. That's right, and, and I think uh, I think he's probably concentrating a little bit more on this sort of stuff because I think there's a massive market for uh, like unreleased, you know, stuff from the uh, early '90s or, or reissues and stuff like that. Much in the way that there is for sort of like soul and funk sort of bits. He'll sell you what you've already got. That's oh, what, what you're trying to say? No, 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 not at all. No, but I understand <laughs> that's his background. Do you know that what is, yeah, so, yeah, he's yeah, a big exactly. superstar. Yeah, he was. Yeah. And talking of uh, Scott London, Metro, he's got his own little label out as well. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. so, yeah, check that out. I, know, I can't remember on the top of my head what it's called, but it'll be good, I'm sure. Cool. Yeah. Right, next up, uh, Cheeky Little Trade. It's just a seven that I've never had before, really. So, um, yeah, and uh, it's been scrubbed out, but it is uh, maybe Hold On by the Mohawks. Never had oh, a 45. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys used to go to the uh, Black Music Record Fair at Kilburn, but there used to be a seller there called Major, and uh, he's been in the game for years and years. And I know that Tough Cut bought a load of Soul Tornadoes and uh, Iron Legs off of him years and years ago. But uh, he comes in the shop once in a while and always brings a, a couple of interesting trades, so it's always nice to grab a few things off of him when he, because uh, he's predominantly looking for reggae now. But, uh, you know, yeah, it's, it's cool. Is it still going in the back of the Not it's in Kelvin. Eh? I don't think it's no, it's not in Kelvin. Yeah, it used to be brilliant. Yes. But I think, you know, the uh, Dez who ran it, I think he's still doing stuff. I think he did like Utrecht and all that sort of stuff. So, you know, it's a shame. I just think that the, uh, the style of buying is more internet based now than it is going out into the field. I think record fairs do still exist and obviously people still go to them and stuff like that. But it's, I don't know, it's not the same as it was, but you know. Ah, uh, the past. I know. It's a wicked mistress. It is. Anyway, um, we're actually playing 10 this week because uh, I've, I've actually we been, can't count. I've, I've been whoring it on uh, on Instagram a bit recently and um, just playing bits and bobs when I'm in coming here. And, well, why not? You know what I mean? But I played one I think yesterday or the day before. it on Instagram. It means yeah. something very different to our under 25 viewers. <laughs> yeah. But uh, anyway, I played, I played <laughs> a great game. I'm following you. Oh my god. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I don't think that uh, I don't think we played this break, but I played a snippet of it on, on Instagram the other day, and I had a load of hits. But oh. speaking, of, it's this Port Authority um, US Navy uh, band, but there's a track with Port Authority Bus Blues, and it's got it's just a stonky break. So we're just going to play the break for this. Yeah, let's chant amongst yourselves. It's great. Yes, I love it. Going. I love it when anything's on something like this, or like a school band album, or like my personal favourite, a British pub singer. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I like that sort of thing. When you find there. Yeah. Back into the break. Killer. Yep. So there is the word. And there's a little bit more for it as well. What? So there you go. That's what you want to be getting. Port Authority. Yes. Uh, US Navy band. Big of a jig. So, our uh, theme of the week, it's a bit of a departure from the normal sort of stuff we play, but it a lovely is one. awesome. That's right. And it's one of my favourite films ever. Yes, mine too. And, uh, uh, and, and to get a Vertigo soundtrack by the mighty Bernard Herrmann, uh, it's wicked. So, uh, yeah, a little bit different, but solid. There we go. So, that is our theme of the week, The Nightmare and Dawn from the Vertigo. Yeah, if you've never seen Vertigo, Not you have done it. yourself an injustice. It is a great movie, man. What, most Jimmy Stewart films? James like Stewart. Him. James Stewart. Yeah. Holy mackerel! <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, all of his films. I love them. Rear Window, yeah. Vertigo, um, fuck it. Ah, the Bell, the Book, the Candle. What else is he in? What's the other Hitchcock It's one? a Wonderful Life. 
It's a Wonderful Life. What's the other Hitchcock one where he goes to London? He starts off in Morocco and he ends up oh, in Camden Oh, yeah, he starts on the Mo Morocco with Doris on the Day. bus, yeah. Um, and, and Doris Day's gonna get, or someone's gonna get oh, shot in the Royal Abbey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's it called? Man Who Knew Too Much? The Man Who Knew Too Little is the, is the comedy. The Man Who Knew Too Much yeah. is the serious one, yeah. It's bad, yeah. yeah. The Man Who Knew Too Little is Bill Murray. Mm. And yes, he's got past the video card. That's all right. Yeah, this is the nightmare scene in it. It's all really psychedelic, isn't it? Yeah, it's brilliant. Great stuff. Yeah. Anyway, that's it from us this week. Yeah, uh, make sure you pop down to the shop. It's the South Power just off. It's the South Power Piccadilly Line Station. Uh, <laughs> cough. <coughs> uh, on the 3rd of March, you can catch Chris with Format and MCM, all the Beeline chaps, uh, loads of other people. People I can't remember, but it's, in inspired, Boogie yeah. Squad. You can also catch. There's a few other things. Um, Format is playing in Brighton, doing that hip hop thing with, with Yoda. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Check out Format for that. Those <clears> details. Uh, and on that early April, going forward a bit in time, we've got talking about Oli TV. They do Herbalize doing a gig at Concord Two in Brighton. So. That's your thing, get on down there, um, and you'll catch us on the 31st of March, that's way ahead of all of that soon. Cool, we will catch you next week. Bye bye.